we are going to Atlanta for the Culture Collision Expo. Look at this, guys. To see which cards we can find for 2024. This is the deal that we did. I didn't bring many cards with me on this trip, so we'll be buying a ton and hopefully we can take some girls back home. Was it worth it? I don't know. But was it great? It was great. Made it to Atlanta. My boy Troy right here. We're here. We made it. Didn't make it to the show, um, but I love trade nights. I think 2024 is gonna be the year of like the segmented trade nights. So what I mean by that is national showed that there was a lot of trade nights with different sports, right? Like I think soccer specific, there's gonna be like TCG specific. Um, gone are the days where right now it looks like it's a lot, but this is not the main trade night. Um, there's actually a soccer specific trade night here. And honestly, trade nights are probably the most rawest form of like dealing cards and everything like that. Uh, and the reason why is because everybody is basically at the same level. There's nobody as a dealer, no one's winning. Literally everybody's at the same level. You go up to anybody and try to make a deal. So we're gonna see what we find. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to buy. We'll figure it out. It's probably the most in-depth shabby collection I've seen in a, in a minute. Why did your brother like Shabby so much? I don't know. Did <laughs> that do a good deal or no? These? And if you had this for like 100 bucks. Oh, <laughs> shit. The Panini Instant. Panini Instant 101. So cool. Right now, the energy is fucking wild, man. God, there's so, last time I've been here, it was two years ago, and there were no soccer collectors, but there's been just soccer, 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 and we're making moves, boys. I can't wait to show you guys what we got. Right now, we're trying to make a deal. Maybe this is Kakao Auto, but wow. Trade night right now has been amazing. Wow. This is basically a shadow box. So this is the newest like case hit they have. It's called Layers, and I think the reason why is because they have different layers of cards stuck between. Guys, look how crazy this is. Look at that. We have we have Vita right here ripping at trade night. We have a Holland on card auto. Oh my god. Ryan, you want to see some really cool cards? Okay, that's really creepy. <laughs> Troy's been waiting for me to go home. Yeah, I'm cranky. I'm tired. Oh, he's cranky. So I got the Pedri Kaboom with some older Chavi stuff, which I'm stunned. I am stunned how these older sets, I think this needs to be a PSA announcement. The biggest buy I got from this lot is the one of one Chavi Simplicidad. I'm really not a big fan of paper products, but because it's a one of one, it's Chavi. It didn't seem like it broke the bank. Um, we'll see how it goes. I would love to grade it and see where it takes me. But with that being said, let's get to Culture Collision, man. I'm super pumped up. Let's see what we can find out there. So we're probably like 30 minutes in. We have a buying sign that's super legit. Also, Troy's not advertising enough. Like, oh, he, I didn't post anything. You didn't post, you didn't I'll do anything. Right now, like, right he's just too worried about his basketball game, bro. I did my first deal of the day. My boy Villanueva is gonna take, take a look. Let's see uh, if I make a good decision. I just want to take a look at it and think about what I paid for it. All right. Oh, fuck. I paid 45. Question that you asked is really interesting. You're asking about with soccer, is it easier to move smaller cards or bigger cards? The way I see it is, is I don't actually believe a lot of cards over $500 in soccer is that viable. It's actually a lot scary to deal with because most people aren't splurging out cash like that. I would say if you get a card that's really expensive, trade it down and sell it by, by pieces. It's easier to sell cards that are for $100, $150, you know what I mean? It's really funny, I've been meeting a lot of new soccer dealers here and one of the complaints i'm not complaints but like i could see the energy is a little low is that like people want to sell a lot of their their cards yeah. but with soccer it's a little harder a little harder like for me i have to go in and buy stuff to just put on ebay i just got a You're bunch of happy. base messies right here it's gonna be a little bit of a little strategy i'm trying out and maybe i'm kind of a little desperate oh, trying to buy hurt, yeah, um i'm not okay, a big no fan problem. of buying like lots of base cards but for messi and ronaldo they sell pretty decent especially on ebay on whatnot yeah. the one that i did buy from my boy villanueva after he dogged me on my deal was this mojo messi the corner is a little weird funny but with psa nowadays with 15 dollars grading you might as well set it in and it doesn't get the grade that you want to set it in again because uh, a PSA 10 would go for $300, so. This is the deal that we did right here. A Holland Bundesliga Orange, 15 25 
I mean, I, let me know what you're interested in. Some you know people might think, think, okay, what, what am I doing here? I trade the Pedri Kaboom with some cash, and the reason why is because I think there's could be upside. My only issue is these don't really grade very well. There's scratches on it, but I would always take. I'm a gambling man. All right, let's call it how it is. All right, I'm degenerate. Why not try to get a ten in this? If not, if you get a nine, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's basically I could get my same price, or I could get the same. Uh, For the pair, I can always get the same sales price again. But yeah, try to make moves, man. It's only 130. Still kind of slower than I thought. Um, I will say, two years ago, I remember the, the announcement and the, the songs, the music was super loud, so they changed that. About that was kind of nice. 30, 40 dollars. Um, but so far, we'll see. What's that sell for in the market? I think I got to I feel like it's like a hundred dollar for 150. Oh shoot! Right, what? Here. This kid from Tennessee, no soccer out of the table. I'm like Yanni Sachi's like. Nah, I got this one car just like in my showcase, so you gotta figure it. He doesn't, he doesn't know what Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, sir. Feels 50, like an eBay card. I'll give you 50 bucks. Yeah. 51. <laughs> After seeing that one of one sale, I gotta, I gotta start walking. All right, I was gonna wait 20 more minutes, but I got, I gotta see. I Guys, check out how cool this is. This is where the hobby is starting now, right? There was no signers for soccer in any shows, but Nick went to Macau in China, and they had three cool signers. Look at this. He's with Luis Figo. Oh my God, Carlos Poyol, that is insane. Right here, there's this card that I know that I'm trying to buy from somebody that he wants this card. I'm trying to see if I can buy this card and maybe trade to him for cheaper. <laughs> so that Henri right there, I'm looking to buy two case hits, a Color Blast and a Night Move. But I do know the person that's trying to sell it is trying to get that Henri. And I'm thinking if I could buy that Henri for a little cheaper and trade it, then I'm literally getting the same sales price. Hey Ryan, so you still have those Color Blasts? The Night Moves and Color Blasts? I found that Henri you were looking for. Did you want, were you gonna try to trade it for Henri? No, I was gonna go buy the one. From, it was the evidence, right? Let's just say hypothetically I had it, right? Yeah, I would trade it. I'm thinking about it, hold on. Cheers. Hold on, let's see that. Thank you. Get it? Yeah, for you. Awesome. <laughs> Here's the trade right there. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bought the car for 620, traded it straight trade, did all that work for probably an hour, saved myself 20 bucks. Yeah, I'm bro. I'm bit, you know, I mean, like, if you want to sign up for my course. I guess it's stickered at 700. You couldn't have just offered him 620. He would have taken it in cash. Yeah, probably, but like, you know. Oh, sorry, I ruined your story. Dude, that's sick. <laughs> Probably one of the most underrated players right now in the hobby. That's crazy. That's crazy. Jeez. Dude, look at look at all the stuff that's been picked up today. That's insane, bro. Two years ago I came here, it was it was trash. This has been great. Things great, right? Come to eternity. One of my favorite cards. I actually pulled one of those, not that one. Yeah the backseat of a rental car in Pasadena, California on the way to the World Cup final. Really? Do you I still have that card? I it three years ago in a gym. I was a kid, had no top loaders, had nothing. Pulled it in the back of a car. Wow. So sad, man. Our buying sign is not showing up. Good. All right, open for business again. I cannot believe this came up to the table, this red Saudi Omane, red on red. So I paid pretty strong for it. I had some nice cash and trade. Um, but the reason why I did is because Liverpool fans, especially with the club situation, they pay up. They pay up for red on red color matches and everything. And you know, something you just don't see. There's a lot of good soccer card selections here. It's kind of crazy to see because like two years ago, I keep referencing two years because I was so scarred from it that I did not want to come back. But I'm so glad I came back, man. This is just like, insanity. Look what I just found out. And look what I just bought. Troy just did a deal on this pre-modern stuff. Really nice pre-modern stuff of players that people really want, like Xavi, Ronaldinho, Zidane. Since you guys don't want to see me in front of y'all, I, oh, I got I gotta be at my table. Come over here. You lose leverage like that, that's why. <laughs> got him. Oh, hey, hey. So those cards I just picked up, um, not big money cards, and it's somebody that wants to start out, that want to, don't want to spend too much money, I really like these type of cards where it's like just recognizable players that are not too expensive. Just make sure the cops are right. Worst case scenario, you get your money back. Best case scenario, you make some money or maybe even grade these and get a PSA 10. 
I really wouldn't regret any of these, honestly, just because maybe the Kusaka L25. Everything else is like, you're really playing with fire, just because you never know a cop comes out of nowhere, a PSA 10 tells worth 40 bucks, so. Near the end of the show, but one of the most unassuming things is binders, man. Look at this, guys. <laughs> Like, who, who walks up to a show with a binder of these crazy cards? Whether I can make a deal, we'll see. But never, never assume, oh my god, this is crazy. It just keeps going, guys. <laughs> so we did get a cool deal with Matthew. He came from the Czech Republic, right? Uh, you've been only here for two days. How Was it good? Great show. Great show? Yeah, yeah, so I got to go out there. Uh, I know there's an Amster Amsterdam show, right? Yeah. London show is the biggest one. Yeah, do you go to a London show? I'll go this year. Oh, you go? Okay, it's a really good show. We've been there before too, so I'm glad to get this deal done, man. It's just crazy. How long have you been collecting to have all this? Three years. Bro. Three years. Three years, and you probably bought it off of online, Facebook groups and everything? A lot of trading on Facebook. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah, so, hey, you don't have to be in the States to do all this, man. This is so sick. Uh, appreciate you. Thank you so much, man. After doing the last deal of the weekend, Atlanta Culture Collision brought a ton of energy for the soccer hobby. I came here two years ago and barely saw any soccer cards, but now it seems almost mainstream. If Atlanta's any indicator, 2024 looks like another fun year for the community. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more content.